Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and iOS 18 beta one has just been released and it looks like it will be a really amazing update. Just as far as I have been able to use it for like an hour now is just really, really awesome and with a lot of features, but we're going to talk about some hidden features in another video. But in today's video, I will show you guys how to fully customize the new home screen on iOS 18. Now, if you watch the conference by Apple, you probably know about a few features like this right here, dark mode for your icons, even though the icons from third party apps don't still support this, they will support it, of course, very, very soon. But you can see right here, we have a dark mode for the icons and you can change that pretty easily. Now you can turn this on automatic, which means that when your device is on the light mode, they will be on the light mode on the dark mode when the device is on the dark mode. To do that, you simply tap the edit button and then go to customize right here. And you can click on automatic. As I said, it will be changed automatically, but you can always use the dark icons. If you want to, you simply select this right here or use the light icons as well. Now, what's really cool is you can see right here. Once we tap on the dark icons, we also get another icon right here. We can also change the brightness of the wallpaper. As you can see, it will actually darken the wallpaper of your device when your icons are on the dark mode and it makes them look much, much better. This is the proper dark mode for iOS and what it actually should have been since the beginning. And we have a ton of cool features here on the home screen. You know, the you can also tint the color of the icons, which is actually really awesome. You tap right there, tap on customize, and then go to tint it right here. Now you can choose any color you want here to tint your icons as well as the widgets of your home screen. You can choose the serration of the color right there. But what's really awesome is also you can pick any color from your wallpaper here simply by tapping that little button and it allows you to just simply scroll around here and pick any color you want to use for the tint of your icons which is actually a really really awesome and very effective as it will actually make the icons look much much better with the wallpaper that you're currently using on your device you can see how cool that is now as you can see right here we're finally also able to just place the icons anywhere we want on the home screen. And that's actually pretty easy to do. Whether you're using icons or maybe your widgets, you can just place them anywhere you want. So you can see right here, I can just place that widget right there. These icons, I can just simply drag and place the icons anywhere I want. Finally, Apple is allowing us to do that. And it's actually pretty cool to have that feature until of course will allow you to customize your device and your home screen way more. And of course, have the icons wherever you need, like having icons on the dock and having some icons just right here. We can also have quick access to them just above the duck will be very very useful and if you have a wallpaper and let's say a picture of you or someone you love and you have it right here on the home screen maybe the subject will be in the middle you don't want to cover that with icons you can just place the icons around that and it will look much much better now with iOS 18, there is a pretty cool feature on the home screen that Apple didn't actually talk about. I will show you guys right now. So you can see right there at the top, I have a widget for reminders. Now what you can actually do right here is pretty cool. I can just go ahead and tap and hold that icon, actually that widget right there. And you can see I have a few different options right here. So I have the mid size widget, but I can change it to the small widget directly from here. Just tap there, it changes automatically. Again, I can go back there or I can just make it into the bigger widget. How cool is that? But what I can also do from here is just tap this first button and it will just turn it into the apps icon. That is really, really awesome. Now, what's actually more awesome than that is that you can also do that for icons that you have on the home screen. So let's say I have a few different icons right here. I have one, let's say for news, there's the app where I can, of course, go ahead and open the news app. Pretty cool, right? But did you know that I can actually turn 
the apps icon into a widget that's pretty awesome tap and hold the app icon you will get the normal shortcuts right there again you will get these buttons right here now from that icon i can just turn it into a widget tap right there and there we have the news widget how cool is that but what's also really cool is that when you're on the home screen and you have let's say a widget here i can go ahead and just go to the edit mode if I go to the edit mode, you can see that grab right there. I can just go ahead and drag it like this and turn it into the bigger icon or just like this and turn it into the medium icon. So you can basically move around here and of course just change the size of the widgets and also turn them into just icons of the apps as easy as that. So these are some of the cool new features that Apple has added to the home screen on iOS 18 and this is how you can actually customize the home screen on your iOS 18 device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.